To start performing the process development studies, click on Open Project. Select your mold from the project list. Once you select the mold, you'll see that the mold ID and the project name and all the other details are shown on the right-hand side of the screen here. And at the same time, all the icons are now active. There is the melt preparation studies, the six step study, design of experiments, the process sheet, quality control data, water and auxiliary hookup diagrams, mold troubleshooting, and the documentations. The manage session section and the project's status section give you a summary of the projects and the summary of the sessions for each of these studies. Let's start with the melt preparation studies. In the melt preparation studies, you'll be optimizing the screw recovery speed and the back pressure. We know that as you start increasing your screw rotation speeds, the screw is now giving more and more energy or shear to the plastic and therefore the plastic temperature can increase. In the screw rotation speed, you are generating a graph of melt temperature as a function of screw rotation speed. This is where you'll enter the barrel settings. You can select the units for the barrel temperatures. You can add a zone, edit a zone, delete a zone. The target melt temperature, in this case it's 440, an acceptable melt temperature difference. The units of screw rotation speed are entered here. And once you perform the study, click on the show graph button and the graph is generated. Based on the graph, you can now select your screw rotation speeds. The next tab over will help you optimize the back pressure. We know that back pressure compresses the melt and gets rid of all the volatiles and therefore makes the melt density much more consistent. And because the density is consistent, the part weight will also be consistent. At different back pressure settings, you are going to make 10 short shots and weigh the runner and the parts and record that information here. And as you start increasing the back pressure, you'll notice that the range, which is the difference between the maximum and the minimum, the range will start to drop. So you'll see in this case, the range is much lower at 300 and 500 PSI and at 100 PSI, the range is much higher. So you have a lot of inconsistency in the fill, but increasing the back pressure will help you fill the part consistently. In some cases, if you increase the back pressure further, you'll see that the range goes up. This happens because the plastic is now slipping on top of the screw, which is not acceptable, and you must start shearing the plastic, which can cause other issues like burning from shear. So from this worksheet, you can select the back pressure value. Again, like all graphs, enter the values here, click on the show graph button and generate the graph. 